In one of his pastoral letters, Pope Paul VI made a wonderful statement. Look on the seminary as the heart of the diocese. His words emphasize the responsibility the Catholic community has to care and support the mission of the seminary, to provide compassionate and holy priests who can respond to the needs of the church and her people. In 1915, Bishop John Shaw, the fourth bishop of San Antonio, established a diocesan seminary to prepare men for priestly ministry in Texas. Through his determination and the further commitment of his successors, over 800 priests were educated and prepared to serve God's people. Today, Assumption Seminary, in collaboration with Oblate School for Theology and the Mexican American Catholic College, is providing priests for our archdiocese, the 15 dioceses in Texas, and dioceses from Nashville to San Bernardino. Our prayers are being answered. There is an increase in vocations. Many men at the college level are responding to the call to handle the increase in numbers a former residence hall on the campus must be renovated. The residence hall to be renovated is the former St. Alice Hall that was opened in 1955. The new hall will have 42 college dorm rooms for the seminarians, four priest suites, a study lounge, community room, atrium entrance, and a Eucharistic chapel. The building will be upgraded and updated to be more efficient and provide the seminarians the latest technological connections that are required for today's laptops and other educational tools. It will be the home of our college seminarians while they complete their philosophical studies. How do you make it fun for kids to learn about nutrition in school? A former Sesame Street producer recognized the childhood obesity epidemic as she raised her own kids and used her experience to produce fun, healthy programming in Latino schools. The level of childhood obesity in the U.S., as well as lack of nutrition, is so profound that it seems like we really should be using every means we have, including technology. Capitalizing on her experience creating kid-friendly TV shows, Natasha brought in producers, animators, nutritionists, and musicians to form Kids Cook Productions. They wanted to create entertaining and educational videos on a digital platform for kids in schools. library together, um, trying to come up with questions that we felt were important to ask the author. I expected to be really nervous, only because the authors are like really, really important people. They kept telling us, you know, they're just like regular people, they're just like regular people, and I'm like, well, no, she's published, she's actually important, like, she's different. Prior to this, we read the books and we had some background information, but once you really get to know the author and talk to them, you really see more of who they are. Following him, having small social conversations with him, it got me to experience almost what was in the author's mind. Before I knew about literature and like the culture of writing books, however, I've been so influenced to explore more and this absolutely opened my eyes. My name is Michael and I live in the downtown area of San Antonio. About a year and a half ago, I brought the Humans of Movement to San Antonio, a movement that attempts to connect individuals by sharing their photograph and telling their story. I felt this is exactly what San Antonio needed and I felt like it was an opportunity for me to help unite San Antonians. Humans of San Antonio ended up becoming a digital water cooler where everyone came together to share ideas and to be creative. And after months and months of collecting these unique, impactful, and inspiring stories, I would like to be able to share them with you all through my book, Humans of San Antonio.
The students that help with it, uh, I think they get to really see like where their food comes from. So uh, maybe they'll be growing something and then they'll go to the grocery store and say, oh, I, I grew that at my school. That's so cool that I know exactly like uh, the process of it growing and I picked it with my own hands. Today, the garden has grown to 1,000 square feet and students plant seasonal local plants and produce. Well, I am just amazed at where our garden is at this point in time. I know it started as a very, very small project, and his goal and the goal of the campus is that whenever vegetables are available, he emails our teachers, he announces um, that to the students to come by, pick up the, the vegetables that are available, and it's amazing just to see um, how our whole community has embraced the fact that we have a garden here. And so to see them be interested in something that I it took for granted whenever I was their age, that is probably the true, the true reward of the garden.